Now that we've completed our planter setups preseason, we also need to complete a couple Pro 1200 setups preseason to ensure that we've captured any growers, farms, and fields that we're going to be utilizing throughout the season, as well as different products that we're going to be applying throughout the season. To do that, we first need to access the menu at the top of the Pro 1200 display. Inside of the menu, you'll find the data card. Once we're within the data card, we have a variety of tabs on the right side that allow us to manage our data, including products, growers, farms, and fields in several different ways. We've got the ability to import the data that we need to use for the farm from the AFS Connect system. We have the ability to import the data from a USB stick, or I can manually input those pieces of data while I'm sitting here in the cab. For example, if I access the product library, I have the ability to build out and create new products. Let's add a new product. When I click Add Product, this is for any type of product that I'm going to utilize on the planter, such as liquid fertilizer or seed. Let's build a new seed product. It's important that you label the seed product by variety name for easy tracking later. Let's assume we have a variety that is called AS123. That product is a seed product, so it's very important that I identify that I am using a seed product. Here we have the ability to identify what is the application rates that I want to use as default for AS123 product. These can be changed later during operation, but this allows me to set the normal defaults that I would utilize. For example, with this product, let's suggest that we're using 30,000 and 32,000 seeds. As I press and hold, it allows me to modify the number. I also have the ability to set a minimum and maximum application rate. These minimum and maximum application rates will be the bookends for application with AS123 seed product. For example, if I set a minimum application rate of 25,000 seeds per acre, while I'm planting, if I attempt to decrease my seeding population, regardless of how many times I attempt to decrease, I will never be able to drop below 25,000 seeds per acre. Similarly on the max, I will never be able to achieve a rate greater than 37,500 seeds per acre in this situation. My step size allows me to establish while I'm planting, if I click the increase or decrease rate buttons, how big of a step will the rate change? And finally, it's very important to identify what is the crop type. In our case, this is a corn crop. If this is done incorrectly, when I'm planting corn, I will not be able to select this corn variety. That is all I need to perform for a product with a planting application. Click Add, and that adds the product to my product library for later use. Repeat this same process for all products you're going to use, including both seed and fertilizer. If I choose to not draw in my growers, farms, and fields using the AFS Connect system or a data stick, I do have the ability to import them manually in the display preseason. If I want to enter those values manually within the display, I need to access my operations icon at the top right of the screen. Within the operations icon is where I have my grower, farm, field, task, and crop type set up that we'll use later when we prepare for a field start. In this situation, I've got the ability to add new to any of these. For example, if I picked up a new farm this year, I can select 
add new farm. I can enter the farm name, which is Weir's. And on the Weir's farm, I have just one field, which is the 42 West. Now when I access for planting, later in my season, I have that farm and field available to me.